feel like right now the roles are reversed because normally when I see you, I'm like, oh, I wish I was where Dana is, watching the fights, taking them all in. But this week, you're coming to my hometown. It's UFC London week. Tell me you've got a plane on standby ready to get you out here because this is one you don't want to miss, right, Dana? Yeah, I, I take off tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, three o'clock our time. I land in London and I think I hit the ground running. I think I go straight from the plane to, to, to media and, uh, and start working. I haven't been to England in a few years now, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, does this feel like quite a special moment? Because we were supposed to be back here a couple of years ago, then everything went crazy. I mean, was it important for you to come back to London as soon as you could? London's been important to us and England, you know, first day, first day we bought this company. So yeah, it, it always has been and always will be. There's, there's two things that us Brits pride ourselves on doing better than Americans, if you don't mind me saying. One of them is we do music festivals very well. Another is we bring an atmosphere to a sporting event like no one else can do. Are we right in that sense? Is there sort of a special atmosphere when you guys come over here? You're absolutely right, man. When, 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 whether it's a, a fight, a soccer game, or whatever it is, you, you guys are, are probably the best crowd on planet Earth, man. It's, uh, it, you know, I don't know who would even be a close second. Yeah, the energy and the buzz, especially when, when your people are fighting, when you have some skin in the game and, and, and you know you got somebody in the fight it's fun man it's fun when you think back of all the times you guys have been over here what are the sort of memories that, that come to mind Dana well I, I mean there, there, there's so many great memories not not just in London but in Manchester and 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 lots of other spots around the UK when we first got in there and really started traveling around um and started to get talent and now I mean we're coming back into uh, into the UK this week, stacked full of UK talent. I mean, serious, serious uh, contenders here, P possible, uh, you know, people that are possible world champions. Yeah, I mean, is this one of the first times maybe when you've been over here when perhaps you're not relying so much on like a big, big name American to come over as well? Don't get me wrong, some great fighters here, guys. We're really excited to see but the kind of the spine, the core of the card is, as you say, it's the, the best guys we've got in the UK, right? 100%. Yeah, with, without a doubt. Um, and this is sort of the, you know, we're back in the, in the UK. You get these, uh, these guys to fight in London at the O2. They win, then we move them out. They fight in Vegas next time or one of these other, you know, uh, you know, the Garden in, in New York. And, you know, hopefully it's, it's, uh, they'll be on their trajectory to become superstars for us in, in the UK. What tips would you give to the guys who are going to be fighting at the O2 Arena, 20,000 crazy fans cheering them on? Like There's guys like, for example, Tom Aspinall. He's got lots of experience, but on much smaller shows. What tips would you give him? What advice, Dana, to kind of hold it together and, and bring the best side of himself to the fight? I'm assuming when they got into this business, this was a dream of theirs, to one day walk out of, whether it's you know, the, o, the O2 in London, I'm sure they've had dreams of walking out of the tunnel in Vegas, maybe Madison Square Garden. And uh, th this is just, uh, there'll be another another check on their on their checklist of, of, of uh, you know, bucket list things to do in their career. So enjoy the moment. Don't get caught up in it. Don't get nervous. It's another fight. Um, but take it all in and, and enjoy the moment. There's too many great fights of our guys in on Saturday, so we're just going to pick a few out, if you don't mind. Um, top of the bill, Tom Aspinall, Alexander Volkov. How impressed have you been with Tom Aspinall so far? Yeah, I mean, impressed enough that, you know, we made him the main event. So, uh, yeah, no, the, the guy's got a 100% finish rate. You know, uh, 10 of his 11 wins are in the first round, and he's on a seven-fight win streak. I love it. I love guys going into fights like this. And he's going in against, uh, you know, Volkov, who, who, who's, uh, what's he, ranked six? He's number yeah. six ranked guy in the world. So a win here for him in, in London, in his home country, it just, it doesn't get any better than this if he can win this fight. The word from Tom was always that he wanted to kind of build very slowly and steadily, sort of chipping off the guy who was just above him in the rankings. 
I mean, that's gone out the window, hasn't it? That's done with. Well, it, it really hasn't. I mean, if you look at him, he's ranked number 11. He's taken on number six. It, it's a bit of a jump. But once he gets into the into the top six, it, it won't move as fast. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll end up fighting. You got, you, you got all these guys ahead of you, you know, Stipe, Tai, Tuavasa, mm. Zero Gone. I mean, there's still a long way to go, even if he breaks into the top six. Yeah, still no easy ones though, right? I mean, he's, no. You could say he gets he can step no. back a little bit, but now, it's still now top you're 10. Fighting, you're taking on the absolute best in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've dealt with so many fresh challenges over the last couple of years. With this fight, we've kind of had a, a, a brand new one in that you've had a, a Russian fighter on top of the card. And there's been so much uncertainty about whether guys are going to be allowed to fight. Uh, how challenging has that been from your side of things to make sure this goes ahead? Well, it's very much like, um, it's, it's very much like the, uh, you know, the virus when the pandemic was going on. The, the question becomes, is the fight going to happen in London or are we going to move it somewhere else? Mm. You know, that, that's, that, that, that's what you start looking at. Um, but you know me, the show must go on. So we'll always figure out a way to, to, to get the fight off. Once you'd announced it, once you'd announced it was Alexander at the top of the top of the bill here, was it really important for you that, that he stayed there? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, this guy deserves the fight. I mean, he deserves the fight. Yeah. Um, have you still got guys on standby just in case, because this is a constantly changing situation? Are there, are there guys on the standby ready to go if, if this does if this does change? No, I wouldn't say days? that guy's on standby, but, uh, you know, Volkov is in is is in the UK, so yeah, you know it's just like any other fight to us. Okay, fantastic. Um, Arnold Allen, Dan Hooker, let's get excited about this one. We love what Arnold's done. Is, is this the sort of fight he's going to have to get used to taking if he wants to push up the rankings? Because he's got such a laid back personality. If he's going to break through, he's got to take on big big names in dangerous fights, right? He's another guy. He's got nine fit finishes. He's on a 10-fight win streak. Um, again, it, it doesn't get any better than that. Going into London at the 0-2, you know, in the co-main event spot. And, uh, you know, th 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 this, these are those moments in these guys' careers that either take them here or they get set back and have to, have to start grinding again. Yeah, we, us fans, we love Dan Hooker for his... His, his approach to fighting, his anywhere, anytime, anybody, presumably you love him too, right? He's the ideal employee. Well, what I like about him is, uh, you know, we're going to find out exactly where Arnold Allen's at. Uh, you know, if he can go in and, 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 and win, just win, you know, and if he goes in and pulls off some type of spectacular finish, you know, that's just the ice on the cake. Um, you've got a taste of what Paddy Pimlet's all about. I'm sure you've seen what he brings with a big crowd when he was in Cage Warriors. Are you ready for the atmosphere, for the energy, for the, the manic response he's going to bring when he comes out on Saturday night? I am, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a fun guy. Um, the last time that he fought here, I can't remember where the hell I had to be, but I wasn't there for the fight. I'll be there for this one in London, so, uh, yeah, I'm looking very forward to it. I want to pick your brains about something. So you've done the O2, you've done Manchester Arena. You know how fast you sell out these events. Is there ever a thought on your mind of doing a bigger venue, taking on a football stadium? Because you know you could do it, right? Yeah, I mean, if I came to Australia or the UK, you guys are used to seeing events and, 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 and soccer stadiums. So... You know, if I brought the right fight out there, I, I'd probably do it. And as long as they have a roof. Oh, there's roofs. There, there's some of them have got roofs. Got to have a roof. Still cold. It's still cold, but you won't get I wet. 